Hello, it's Wednesday today. I've been chopping my hair off a bit. Um, that much, that much hair. So yeah, it's shorter. Not that you can remotely tell because I've just tied it up anyway. Look how faded that is though. I dyed that blue and I looked in my vlogs to see when it was. It was 20 days ago. The purpley bits is from hair mascara, so that doesn't count. That's just, you know, temporary stuff stuck on. I meant to get some more yesterday when I was in Cardiff, but I just ran out of time and ran out of steam, frankly. But I will get some soon and I'm gonna just re-dye it and see if like second time lucky or something. Something, or it tops it up and it lasts longer, I don't know. I've had a very productive morning so far, working at my desk. I've had a bit of a housework surge off camera, not that you can probably tell by the state of the cushions, but I have hoovered, believe it or not, sorting laundry out. I've got so much drying at the moment. <laughs> got all that clean stuff to put away. And I've been having a little sort out in this area. Why do you think that could be? Aww. Could it be to do with? this parcel. Oh yes it is. Now when you clicked on this video you might have noticed that there was the word ad popped up somewhere. I am not being paid to make a video about the contents of this package but I have been gifted it by a company who would like me in exchange for having given it to me feature it in the video. So that is what I am doing. And I'm actually pretty delighted to have been gifted this because it's something I was thinking about getting anyway. A lot of people in this day and age already have one. Oops. <laughs> My boyfriend's got one, and now so have I. More paper from the compost bin. It helps to, you know, keep the moisture level a bit more balanced. Let's get this thing open then. Oops. Oh, I made a right pack zero of that, didn't I? <laughs> it's like Russian dolls. Is that upside down? Come on. Chicken. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, we could be like you know, a modern, up to date person with one of these. Oh, look. So, this is the Chef Free, <laughs> I presume, because you don't need a chef because it's so easy to use. It's the AFG01 Air Fryer Grill. I'll put the boxes in the other end for now. Gonna get our first glimpse of this thing oh yes might have to have a little read of that user manual actually before i get started oh grilly thingy let's just put that over there for now let's get all organized shall we morning yeah i'll be sure to read that before i start as well oh it's pretty light actually Oh my goodness, it looks so smart. Oh, I like the look of it. Come on, come. Oh, it's fun getting new things, isn't it? Like completely new things, I mean. Completely new to you, not like a new version of something you've had before. Because it kind of like, I don't know, you have to think differently about things. You have to sort of make your own little discoveries on how it works and you kind of learn a little bit. When you learn, you grow as a person. This is my philosophy. <laughs> I do like to discover new things. Uh, oh, I wonder if this is going to be a problem having it under there, look. I mean, I was thinking I could pull it out to use it. So I was running out of space a bit for it. Which is one of the reasons I was thinking about maybe not getting one, but now I've been sent one, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I can just move it and put it somewhere else if I need to. All right, so what have we got in here then? It's reminding me of a barbecue or something with this grill. It's well packaged anyway. It wasn't getting damaged on the way, was it? Is that? This reminds me of like a chip basket or something. Getting a little collection of packaging. There's a load in the front room as well. This is turning into a bit of a cleaning day for me. As you can see, I'm having a bit of a rejig. So I've moved the microwave over here. And of course, there was all dirt and stuff underneath and bits of food that had gone under there. Uh, so I've been having a bit of a clean. Now I can lift this lid up. As much as I like. Oh, if I pull it out, I can. <laughs> it goes back quite away, apparently. Let's try again. Right, oh, that's as far as it goes anyway. Okay, good. And I'm going to put the toaster by there. We always pull the toaster out for use anyway because I don't want the heat going up into the wall units. Just in case we get flames, you know, of burning toast licking up into the wood units. Because I don't think that would be a good idea. I'm reading the instructions, you know. 
Well, I've had a little look at this. It's all pretty simple, really. I think it can feel a little bit overwhelming sometimes when you get new stuff with a great big instruction booklet, but there's not a lot to it, really. But I've done one thing already, which is to do with how I've positioned it. Got to have at least six inches all around to let the air circulate, because it can get hot, you see. It says don't use it in moving vehicles or boats. I don't know if that means you could, like, have it in your van and use it when you're stopped, or if it's, like, worrying that it'll jiggle the innards about and damage it. I don't know. Can't answer that one. It warns that obviously it's gonna get hot. This is the heating element here. It looks a bit like a cooking ring, actually. Can you see the coil? So it's telling you, make sure you put things down on proper heat proof pads. You know, the inner bits, if you take them out. And also, on that note, use oven gloves. It's not like a microwave, because microwaves don't get hot inside. This is not a microwave, obviously. So that was really obvious. But worth mentioning, I think, if it's completely new to you, it also says, you know, don't put your hands in there. Be sensible use a proper spatula or something and don't put metal in it because it'll scratch it and don't clean it with like a scratchy thing because it's non-stick just treat it like a non-stick thing and control wise basically it's got these preset thingies on there so it comes up with a set temperature and time but it's fine because you can change the temperature up this way or down this way do you see that little temperature sign there and on this side you've got the clock symbol so this is you want to increase the time press that one decrease it press that one so you've got air fry air broil now does anybody know what broil is. I do not know what broiling is. I know what boiling is. I'm sure it can't possibly be a typo. What is broiling? If it's something to do with meat, that's probably why I don't know what it is. Speaking of which, you've got a beef option. Fries, um, cancel if you want to just cancel it. Also, so I presume, I don't know actually. <laughs> I thought I'd read everything, clearly not. Oh, here's something. If you open the cover door, it just stops working automatically. Oh yeah, I know what those little symbols were for. It's just the different temperature settings. Low, medium, high and max. And if you want to know what the centigrades are, it's that sorry celsius showing me age there calling it centigrade my friend did that the other day too anyway i'm excited to try it i've decided what i'm going to try it with first of all for lunch i'm going to cook with it for tea tonight this is what i'm going to do for tonight i've got them defrosting at the moment i've got salmon fillets for me and my boyfriend and tuna for izzy i know that sounds a bit weird but the thing is i didn't know izzy was coming to dinner and then she just randomly texted me and said she was so i got that out afterwards and there wasn't enough salmon if i'd have known she was coming in the first place i'd have just done everybody the same but there we are and for my lunch now, I've been wanting to try these breadcrumbs coated mushrooms I bought. Here they are. If you're a bit bored in life, well, I often get bored in life. I think one of the things I can do to spice it up a bit is just try a new product I haven't tried before from Tesco's. It's quite easy to do. Um, nobody else in my family is that bothered about mushrooms, but I absolutely love them. You can cook them according to this in 18 to 20 minutes so I don't know if the cooking times are different from the air fryer because I've never tried it before. Oh well it's got cooking instructions in celsius and a timing so I'll just put it on the bake option and see what happens. Hmm what else am I gonna have now? I haven't been shopping for a while but uh oh I might have some broccoli with it. Boiled broccoli and toasted muffins. They absolutely need using up. I bought them for my daughter to eat and she didn't eat them. Not one single one so I've been having to work my way through them. They're quite nice I just try to avoid bready things if I can because I don't know I don't feel like they really agree with me that much but I do have them when I'm out. All right let's get this party started then. I don't know should I put it on there? Why is that lopsided? What have I done? Right in we go. I wonder how many I should have. Mm, that many. Why didn't should we try the roast? Oh 30 minutes wow said 20 on there oh yeah oh there we are it goes down in increments of one well that was super easy to change it says 200 degrees just check this yeah 200 degrees start oh do we need to... oh that means preheating by the way it has to preheat first a bit like an oven i don't know how long it takes but we'll find out won't we mm. and now we wait oh i think i'm doing something wrong because it's saying add it's because I should have let it preheat first. So you press the thing, the roast or whatever, do your settings, then let it preheat. Right, so what if I open it? Oh, do I need oven gloves? I can't remember. I'm just gonna have to fool it into thinking I've added it. Now it's working. Oh, there we are, so that was my mistake. But it's good when you make mistakes because that's when you learn and that's when you actually remember. Well, I hope, mm, hopefully you do. I don't always sit in honest truth, but anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna do my collie now. Um, has anyone seen my lens cap? Because I can't find it anywhere. 
<laughs> this keeps happening. Look, we're a little way into the cooking time. It's smelling lovely, actually. Do you know, I was just thinking, we haven't half come a long way since those wood-burning stoves that we had in kitchens in the old days, haven't we? There's actually a special offer on these at the moment. The seller has messaged me this morning. Morning, Imo, they said. And they've sent us a product link, which I'll put in the description, and also a discount code for anybody that wants to get one of these. And if you do these both things together, you get a whopping £70 off. Normally, it's £219.99 as at the time, you know, that I'm recording this. Because if you're watching this years in the future, disregard the price. Just check out for yourself what it costs. Um, but anyway, at the moment, January 2020, it was originally priced at £219.99 but it's now, if you use the discount code and the special offer, it is now £149.99 and the discount code is... Oh, it's got IMO in it, oh I am honoured. IMO, so I-M-O-A-F-G-0-1, I presume that's a zero, yes that is definitely a zero. So there it is on the screen. And also, of course, I will put it in the description for you if you missed it in the video. And the code is valid until the 12th of February this year, 2023. Right, this is editing me for the next day. To get the £30 off voucher, if you go onto the sales page, you click this box here. And then when you get into the checkout, that is when you put in the IMO code. So anyway, that's that. I better get this collie on because, oh my gosh, I've got eight minutes left and I haven't put the collie on. Ah! I'm gonna get the collie bubbles now. Not long to go. I buttered my muffins. I just can't help myself. Look, I cannot wait. What am I like? Nearly there. I wonder if it's gonna ding or do something spectacular. Three, two, one. Oh, it says done. The giant E. I did have a little peep. I ain't gonna lie, because I thought, now oh, this is gonna be a disastrous, you know, video. <laughs> if I burn the things back there. No, they're fine. Oh, they look nice. Mmm. Yes. By the way, it says in the instruction booklet, don't clean it until it's cooled down. That is obvious, isn't it, really? Just common sense. I've let them cool down for a minute while my cauliflower catches up. Mmm. I've done it beautifully, actually. I know it's only a simple, you know, processed thing from the freezer section. I'm going to wrap the fish in foil later when I do it because that's how my boyfriend does it. And it worked really nicely. Mmm. There we are, there's my really odd and unconventional lunch, but I'm going to enjoy it. And I just thought of another reason why it's a good idea to have an air fryer, right? As it is with my uh, countertop dishwasher, and as when I had my recycling bags where the giant fridge now is, because I used to have a little fridge and on top I used to keep my recycling bins. And I have to say, having stuff that you can reach like that, as opposed to stooping down, it's really nice. <laughs> Definitely more comfortable way of living. It's about half past four now, it's approaching coffee time. Well, half past four isn't usually my coffee time, to be honest, but I felt like taking one down. I'm gonna not film it, but I'm gonna go practice my flute now. But before I do, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Holly for sending me a donation via the buy me a coffee link thingy, because it's my birthday month, she said. She said she'd been old enough until it was my birthday month, and then she wanted to send it. So thank you so much, Holly. I really, really appreciate that. But it's fluty time now and I still can't find my lens cap. Hopefully it turns up. Do you know what? I think I put that in upside down. Um, it's later now, it's cold, I've just washed it up. Well, I'm just trying to dry it. Because I'm gonna do some salmon and tuna in it. I think I must have put that in upside down before because it was so awkward to get in and out. Um, obviously you'd need to pick that up with special thingies. Quite glad I got these free the other day from Iceland because they're just the job, aren't they? I'll keep them over here, I think, from now on. Somewhere near here anyway, excellent. Right, so this is what I'm doing for dinner. I'm just frying up some veggies, really chunky, some pasta that's just gone off the boil actually. I'm gonna sort of season it with my normal chili and ginger. I'm gonna pop that onto preheat because uh, that's what you do, isn't it? But if I put it on the beef, 12 minutes? Hmm, I don't know how many minutes. I did it for 20 the other day, so. Right, there we are, I'm gonna try that and see. I think I know where my lens cap is. I've been looking everywhere for it. I looked in the fridge. I've been trying to see if it was under the microwave, under anything that, you know, I've moved around. I've been through my recycling in case it ended up getting entangled with the packaging from the air fryer. It wasn't in there. I've looked all around the front room, but I think I know where it is. I've just remembered where I started the vlog this morning. In the little spare office room and oh, ho, ho. <laughs> All day I've been looking for that. I must put that hair in the bin. It's still there, look. Yay, I'm one happy vlogger now. Hi, B's here. He's investigating the new toy, aren't you? The new air fryer. He bought one recently. You've got envy, haven't you, of mine? He says mine is much better. Yours was only a cheap one, though, wasn't it? Well, 80 quid, wasn't it? 
your one. Gets what you pay for. You do, you get what you pay for. He reckons, because I, I know nothing about these things, he reckons I've put it on for too long and too high a temperature and I should have just clicked on the air fry instead, instead of beef. So we're, we're making adjustments as we go along accordingly. He reckons the salmon's done but not the tuna. I've put him in charge of checking. Well, there's Izzy's with her tuna. And there's my dinner, looks a bit of a weird one, but I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. All three of us are about to sit at the table to eat while they're already eating. I'm busy vlogging. So I'm gonna put the camera away and eat now too. We've actually come into Tesco's. We've had a long walk ending up at Tesco's. I'm gonna pick up a few bits. Look at this, they've got like a golden syrup and lemon juice set on a pancake pan, look. 12 quid with a club card or 24 without. I lost my boyfriend. I just found him here by the Tupperware. He says he wants this one. So he's not gonna get it. Seven pound fifty with a club card or ten pound without. They're really pressuring you to get a club card, aren't they? Oh, he's looking for stuff for his van. He's having his van converted for camping in, basically. Not with like a permanent bed in there. It's like a cavity. It's got electrics in it now and insulated. So it's gonna like have an air bed in it, you know, that sort of thing. So sort of camping in it. Um, but anyway, what's I going with that? Oh yeah, we had a walk. We thought, should we go to Tesco's or should we have a walk? So we decided to park the car at Tesco's, have a longish walk in the dark, and then come and do a bit of shopping in Tesco's and then drive back because he wants to get some oat milk, which is gonna be awkward to carry back. So that's why we're doing it that way. Ooh, look, this is what you need, a folding colander for six pound. That'll fold up nice and small in your van. That's not a bad idea, I think. <laughs> what about a cooling rack that you can wrap up? Well, I'm only ever gonna eat pasta <laughs> or something. Well, you're gonna have me in there. If you've got me in there, it won't be so quick nosh will it i suggest he goes to somewhere like the pound shop or something he just wants to yeah oh he's found a three pound set of mash you're gonna do mashed potato in there are you <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go and buy some blue hair dye and come back and find you in a minute right this is what i had last time life color urban metallics blue mercury and you know what happened there this is what i'm gonna try this time cosmic blue so i've looked at the sidey bits and this is the darker color so that's what i'm gonna try I don't think they have vitamin B12 here. Just picked up some one pound ham for my daughter. She just wants one day's worth of packed lunch stuff. So she's off for bread and ham. I'm gonna grab these for 80 pence. We have some spare in the house then. My favorite, favorite, favorite. 125, that's cheaper than usual. You know me, I stock up on non-perishables when they're on offer and it's something I use all the time. I've just grabbed these for Izzy on her request. She asked for them. She wants them for their packed lunch. 125 for six bars. And this is something I am going to get. I am back and I am so tired. Do you know what? I came over so tired in Tesco's that I didn't even film everything I got. Now that's unusual, isn't it? I got grapes. And also, they were two pounds, by the way, with a club card. And also, reduced to, I think, 95 pence, these. I thought Izzy might like some of those with their pack lunch. And um, I've got a load of pops. They're four for a pound with a club card. You can either have uh, ginger beer or cream soda, so I've got eight. So I'm just trying to save a bit of money because they're even cheaper than Coke and Fanta, and we don't mind them, to be honest. So, who ever knows? My boyfriend is jealous of my air fryer. He says he wishes he had got this instead of the one he just bought himself. Anyway, if you want one, don't forget there's a link down in the description to it and I will also put the discount code, which we have been offered. And before I go completely to sleep, I'm gonna thank you very much for watching. Please give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you'd like to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.